how's everyone doing today? Oh, I am working on the course approval form and not so very excited about it. Um, I gotta get it done, gotta get it knocked out. Y'all know how much I love to do one. Uh, I think I've said it about 952 times already, but either way, it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be a good day. Good morning, everyone. It is an office day today. It is Wednesday and I'm super excited to be here and to get dressed today after driving for um, probably about 15 hours total in the last two days and getting all the exciting time that you'll see uh, in the video to be on the beach and to see the sound, to get to be with some amazing teachers who have about a hundred years experience between the five of them uh, working in the programs uh, that I, working in the actual one program from yesterday. And that was I can't tell you what it was like just sitting across the table from people and getting to talk to them again. Uh, and hugs are coming soon. I'm going to meet with some local uh, schools that I've met with in the past. I uh, get to see some familiar faces later this week. But today and tomorrow are office days and all about that paperwork and putting in all the information from what we've, what I've done over the past couple of days. So. Uh, just gonna have to deal with it and chug along and know that it's a beautiful day out there and the faster that I work and get things done the faster I get out there to enjoy it so I hope you're enjoying your day getting some work done being productive making some change I'm about to have a keto meal uh, my third bottle of water already and keep trucking with this day so I'll chat with you soon Alrighty y'all, here's lunch. Got some chicken and greens and green beans and a couple of tomatoes, lots of herbs and seasonings. And this is uh, Factor Keto Meal Parmesan Pesto Chicken. And here's the nutrition facts if y'all wanted to see that. Alright, gonna enjoy it. That water and the sugar-free orange parfait. Let's do it. While I'm thinking about it, are there any of you that travel for work uh, that perhaps take your lunch to prevent yourself from having the great Dunkin' Donuts fiasco of 2022 like I did yesterday? And if so, what are some uh, tips and tricks that you have for packaging it? What do you take? Um, I'm going to need a lot of help being back on the road and not taking up my old habits of stopping for food because I wait so long to eat because I'm on the road. I don't want to keep stopping over and over again that my self-discipline and self-control is just gone at that point as you saw yesterday when i'm sitting there covered in powdered sugar so much easier to stay on plan at home because i have these meals always make sure i'm stocked with healthy things and even though there are, are um, temptations here at home um, if I have the good options there, I'm going to choose them. So it makes it a lot easier for me to grab. And I know people have problems with, you know, using water bottles, but I do. We recycle everything possible. We reuse for things like our morning shake. So it's not the end of the world, hopefully. I don't want to create the, the end of the world, a bad one for all of us. So we do try. I don't know. Mm. What are those greens? I know there are greens in here. Where are they? Spinach. Oh my gosh, that spinach is freaking delicious. Oh, wow. I'm so shocked. It's just spinach cooked down with um, spices in it, but that's good. Shocker. I'm not usually a spinach fan. I guess perhaps I just like it cooked. I just want to say that I am plugging along here. And as usual, while yes, it's tedious and time consuming, 
I have made it out to be far worse than it actually is. And I'm gonna get it done today. And I'm gonna be so proud of myself and my boss and this boss and her boss will hopefully be proud of me as well. And regardless if not, I'm proud of me. Good afternoon. Still plugging away at this course approval form, doing extremely well actually. Probably about seven eighths of the way through it is not at all as difficult as I made it out to be, but it is quite time consuming and tedious. It's been about four hours since I talked to you last and I'm still working on it, but I have one more just large section, but that's pretty quick to get through because it's already pieced out in other sections of it. and okay I'm gonna get through it so what are you up to this afternoon are you overcoming <laughs> some huge obstacle like I am today that maybe uh, made it out to be a little more than what it is or maybe it really is just that tough and if it is uh, my heart's with you and I understand uh, been through a lot too and I know there could be a lot worse so uh, hang in there and let's get through this day and then let's go get a workout done and feel better about ourselves. So, see you soon. You're pretty good at that. just wondering if you hit all your goals in a day for the first time in forever probably if you hit all your goals in a day but you hit them out of order does it still count dun, dun, dun. of course it does <laughs> so I got all work done that I wanted I read meditated got tons of water in uh, spent time with some grand boys Saw my granddaughters for a little bit and my daughter tour and now i'm heading out for a walk at damn near dark but that is okay because we're gonna go get it while we can uh uh bright side i got cars coming from every which way all of a sudden bright side um shane started running again so now i wait for him to get back and then i go so it's gonna be a little bit later, but I'm okay with that as long as I don't have to be out here too long in the dark. And then the other thing is, it's a little bit cooler at this point, and then it's gonna get brighter and brighter as it gets later, and we'll have the opportunity to get some beautiful sunsets. So, um, they've not planted the corn out here yet. Not sure what you can see in the near darkness but as soon as they start planting it we're gonna start documenting how it's growing little by little and i love doing that it's so much fun and especially when it gets towards the end of the summer you've done your three miles a day you see progress with your body you're feeling great and then you're watching that grow and be harvested it's just something kind of magical about it Nice sleeping in their big old truck over here. Anywho, 
and we'll finish this amazing walk in this beautiful place and I will catch you in a bit. I wanna be the best in the game, invest in my name Check no restraints, I'm obsessed with the pain I ingest, I retain, assess and I change Possessed by the thought I'll be free one day From society's restraints, money, clout and fame Mud disease, a plague we all love to hate Have to. I just got a message from my sister That she passed her nursing exams Whoop whoop Go sissy I love hearing good news And people being happy Making ish happen Go sis, I'm so proud of you I know you are about tired of listening to these after workout epiphanies but I just wonder as great as I feel at night when I get done with these why I don't get up earlier on my comfy warm snuggly bed and come feel like this earlier <laughs> uh, maybe at least uh, one and a half miles in the morning and then one and a half in the evening that way I get the sunrise and the sunset best of both worlds let's try that tomorrow what do y'all think watch this during my walk this evening and absolutely had to share <laughs> pyramid is great if you're standing on your head because you need to turn that pyramid upside down you can't be serious that would put butter and fat at the top Flip of the, the damn food pyramid <laughs> Nutrition is stabilizing. We got the whole story wrong. We're told to eat six to 11 servings of bread, rice, syrup, and pasta a day by the government, the food pyramid. It should be called the food. I'm not one to get up and go, but doing it anyway. <laughs> To some of you, this may be common sense. Angela, why are you getting up early in the morning and doing something you don't want to do when you don't have to do it? That makes no sense. I felt the same. However, this is where I got in a funk, feeling like crap, overweight, not fitting in my clothes. beating up on myself left and right every day just not giving a rat's ass of eating ice cream and donuts because why not well, why not because I want to live <laughs> I don't just want to live I want to live I want to survive I want to thrive I want to have energy I want to feel great I want to experience new things I can't do that, number one, if I'm dead, and number two, if I'm morbidly obese, and number three, if I don't have the energy to get off my ass and get up and go do it. So while I have the ability to get off my ass and get up and go do it, that's what I'm going to do. I'm building discipline, and this is how you do it. As my marine son says, suck it up, buttercup. Let's go. Hi, friends. I do notice when I'm out here first thing in the morning, it does take a little while longer to get that foot that's got some injury to it going. And that's okay. I'm not going to have the times that I usually have in the evening, but I, I still feel like it's better to go ahead and get out here and get started because... Like I said last night, uh, if, you know how great that we feel whenever we get done with that workout. Why wouldn't I want to have that all day instead of, you know, a few hours before I go to bed? So, here we go. Well, I had set a goal of a mile and a half. And fortunately, my Nike app... That's free, by the way, on your phone. Is smarter than I, and it doesn't tell you how far you've gone. So 
I just kept walking and walking and walking and it's like, boom, two miles. I'm like, yes. It's really what I wanted in my heart. And uh, thanks to the app, that's what I did in my perseverance, of course. I'm gonna give myself credit where credit's due this morning. Be thankful for what I did, things that seem like are mistakes, and moving on with the day. I'm feeling pretty great. I actually did not want the walk to end other than knowing that I got to get back and get little Bud up and get him to preschool and get on with the work day. So I will uh, get with you guys later on and let you know how the day's going, what's up, and any progress I'm making. So hope you're having a wonderful day. Hope you get a great start to your day and I'll chat with you soon. It's still being bright, 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 sunshiny day. Ooh, 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 ooh. I'll turn around so you can actually see this. <laughs> okay, there we go. It's going to be a bright, 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 sunshiny day. Maybe we'll get the car washed today. <laughs> Alright, let's go. And some mushy's heading. Good morning, mushy cat. Go exploring today. It is 10 10 in the morning. And I'm polishing off a salad for breakfast. That walk made me pretty hungry, and I don't know why, but when I opened the refrigerator rather than eggs, I just wanted a salad. So here we go. Public service announcement if you have a US cellular, they are converting your voicemails to a new account. So make sure if you have any old voicemails saved that you um, make sure to get them downloaded to your phone if you don't want them to disappear. Hello, hello my friends. It's about uh, five o'clock in the evening. Just got done working. I got the correction submitted for the training I submitted yesterday and my boss and my co-workers who deal with that section of the job are super super happy and that makes me happy and I got rave reviews on it which made my heart happy and sore because when I do these things I don't play I put my heart and soul into them and want them to be as perfect as possible and to reach as many people and affect them positively and I'm just really happy and believe that this one will be that. So, how's everyone else doing today? Got my beautiful sunset for a change. Been a long time since you've seen that. It takes me a while in the evenings to get everything settled and get here. But uh, Shane got off of work today late and went and picked up the boys. So I get to go first today. And here we roll. I'm not gonna listen to any book or read or do anything that I have to do. I'm going to binge on some music and some YouTube and just have fun with this one. So I will see you on the flip side. Hola. So I gotta get into my house pretty quickly cause I got little boys in there. We are probably ready to play and to eat. But I got done with the walk, but I just wanted to let you know one thing that I thought was pretty interesting that I found out towards the end of my walk. So my back felt a little tense. So a lot of times when that happens, I'll roll my shoulders back like this. And I roll my shoulders back and it, and it improved my posture, of course, and I stood up straight. And it felt completely different in my body when I was walking. Like I could feel it in the back of my body and the back of the tops of my legs. I don't even know what they're called. I would love to know, but I'm not even gonna pretend I do, I don't. So in the top back of my legs and my butt, I felt it a lot more when I kept my shoulders back. So if you're trying to hit that area more than the front or your knees, which is one thing that was bothering me, it was my knees. Um, I would definitely recommend throwing the shoulders back because it helped a lot. So today was a four mile day. I'm proud. I did two this morning, two in the afternoon. Hello, Parker. 
Um, it's just me, buddy. Anywho, lost my train of thought, but throw the shoulders back. Feels a little better when you're walking. I got four miles today, and I'm going to keep trying to do this every day. Getting up and do two in the morning and do two in the afternoon. And pick up the pace because I've been dragging butt for too long. So, see you soon. Alrighty, peeps. We are about to make a smoothie for dinner. gonna chop it off and I've not had the guts to do it but most of it's been because I have been so slack trying to just focus on work and getting caught up with it and doing amazing with that again but I'm really happy and proud of myself for that so let's see how it tastes mm -hmm. that's super thick It's just kind of okay. I'm not sure what I did wrong, but I'm going to drink it. It is what it is. It's not great. It's not horrible. It's just like, uh, oh, I usually put um, half of a shake with a vanilla protein powder in it. Hmm. I need protein. I didn't work out. I walked. I walked four miles. So, so, oh, whoa. Enjoy. I am going to go ahead and close this out because I am going to be resting, relaxing, and planning for tomorrow with my new beautiful Canva daily planner sheet I made today. So, I'll start planning the evening before for the next day. I'm going to take a bath and relax and drink my smoothie and get myself in bed early so I can get up tomorrow and start my uh, walk in the morning and see if I can get a little jog in if my foot's feeling better then. So I hope you're having a wonderful evening. I hope your day went well. It went like you wanted it to. And if not, I pray you wake up tomorrow <laughs> and tomorrow will be better. It'll be Friday if nothing else, right? All right, I'll see you then. Have a great evening. Thanks for watching. I like this look with the sun behind me. Long and lean. <laughs> Good early morning, beautiful peeps. See that beautiful sunrise? Don't stare at it too long. Out here again at it. Early morning. Early for me. Y'all are probably like, it's noon. It's a little bit after 7. I got till about uh, 8.30 to get in two miles. The foot is acting up today, as usual in the mornings. It's just very cold and doesn't want to move, but that's okay. We're going to make it move. Let's get this lovely hair do this morning. I'm liking it. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to cut the hair. So on the way here... I'm literally having to rip my hair out of this, these coil hair bands. They are a hot mess. 
and I didn't realize it was cold or I would have worn my coat, but it's Gucci. I'm just going to have to walk faster and get warm. So what's up with you today? I was thinking while lying in bed this morning, maybe we should do like a book club where we're kind of all reading the same book at the same time and get to chat about it. Just something fun. I'm already reading a ton of books anyways, and I'd love to read what other people are interested in and talk with them about it because I love most books as long as they're uh, clean. (laughs) I love most books. Uh, I really love personal development, professional development. Uh, Shane thinks it's very crazy, but I love books that help me learn about life and people and science and uh, brain hacking and just tips to make life better and to learn more. So if you're interested in that, let me know. We'll read the same book and we'll chitty chat about it. All right, I'm going to go get at this walk because I'm not going to get faster doing this. So I'll see you soon. I forgot I didn't give you a view of the area where I walk this morning. Just clean and pretty and sunshine. Alrighty, I am back from my walk and about to take Mr. LaBear to school and get back and do some work for the day and ready to roll. Happy Friday, y'all. So here I've got a cut to carb wrap and a couple of eggs and cheese and got them all fried up in butter and a delicious and ready to devour. Of course, you know, I got to finish it off with a jello. Breakfast of champions. Breakfast of champions. No time. Champions. Look what cream. What does she look? Because it's got one little puff in it. Alright, let's do this. Watching Sister Wives, that Dark Pepper Man that sings. That looks like Prince. Kept coming on now every time I pour dyed out of pepper in a cup of hair. Woo-hoo! I'll do it for you here. Delish. I have a big meeting today with all my coworkers from 12 to 2. So I have about three hours now to get ready for that and to... Um, see my peeps I haven't seen in a month and I'm real excited for that and I'll let you know how it goes between now and then I'm gonna get try to get that other training converted and make them proud what did I learn from this breakfast two eggs are more than plenty and napkins are not optional but wow super good I've been dreaming on in my head like I've seen it A life worth living is a life with meaning I'll do what I love till my heart stops beating I'm feeding this demon Got a taste, can't erase bitterness in my face Work a job every day till your dreams fade away Like a card, never change, play the game Now we say, I need a break Time to stand strong, need to move on to be what I want, I'll keep dreaming on Time to stand strong, need to move on